Hi, today I'm going to show you how to create a file, tr file transfer protocol application. But today we will be doing a bit different than usually. We won't start from creating a Windows Forms application, but we will start from creating a class library. So, new project, class library, name it. I will name it FTP Manager. FTP Manager okay okay so here's a library assign using that using system.net assign using system that threading and assign using system that jo let's name it And now <coughs> we'll need to create a few variables. So start from private string st private static string password, which will be the password for the file transfer protocol. Private static string username which will be the username <coughs> and private static string host which will be the host server location now create private FTP, FTP web request we will name it FTP request request okay now private FTP web response which will be the response from the server we will name it FTP response oh sorry <coughs> Now private stream FTP stream uh, equals null. No. Of course we forgot we need to initialize those all. For now those will be null. No. Because we will get those from the server and create a request and get the server response from the request of course and now private int buffer size <coughs> we will set it to 48 now first we'll create the initializer for our FTP manager class In here, string user string password, maybe string pass, and string host name. Now, username is equal to user, password is equal to pass. And host is equal to host name. Okay, now the real fun begins here. Public void download file. Download file and here string remote file. This will be the name of file that's on the server and string local file the local file is the file on our computer while the remote file is the file on the server okay now try already here exception 
ex and here in try FTP request equals as FTP web request this is called a cost we're costing and here FTP web request create host class this plus remote file <coughs> so here we are creating the web request for the file yes the remote file on the server now FTP request credentials equals new network credentials credential so credential username password now FTP request use binary equals true Yes. Password. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Now FTP request use passive equals true FTP request keep alive equals true now FTP request method method equals web request methods FTP download file now FTP response equals FTP web response FTP request get response uh, sorry get response get response stream wait a second get response Now FTP stream equals FTP re, uh, FTP response of course. Sorry, I have problems with remembering the all all the, the you know variables. FTP response get response stream. Okay, now file stream. fs equals new file stream this will be local file file mode open or create and now here byte array byte array buffer byte buffer buffer it will be easy to remember equals new byte uh, 
and here we will need to create convert to int32 and here we will add the um, method method that we will create later we will name it git file size and it will be from remote file remote file but for now but we don't want to see any errors right now so we will type after public void public long long because this will be long server usually gives us the uh, long get file size string file name file na name name and here we will create long size equals no at this point and return this size this uh, we will leave now we will get to this later is expected okay now mm, int bytes read bytes read equals FTP stream read byte buffer zero and here convert same convert to int32 get file size remote file okay that would be here now another try loop and already we will create catch here x and here in try while loop bytes read are bigger from zero then zero then zero then local file stream yes no uh, fs fs this file stream fs dot write byte buffer zero bytes read Bytes read here. Bytes read equals FTP stream read byte buffer zero convert to int thirty two get file size remote file remote file okay and that would be all for here now FS close we need to dispose of all of those you know variables F FTP stream close FTP response 
request first request maybe close no not close uh, response close man that's why I hate working on net projects they're messy and uh, FTP request equals no so we cleared the request okay this is the end of part one see you in the next part